I think at this point, it's very safe to say that Tinobu's regime will go down in history as the most corrupt government in Nigeria. Why did I say so? Over a couple of months now, there have been issues that have been ongoing concerning how much exactly are the senators and the National Assembly members collecting per month. Baba Obasanjo even gave us an insight, saying that these people are just allocating salaries to themselves without the approval of a right agency. The agency responsible for paying the, for allocating salaries to the senators, the National Assembly, said that their salary is 1.4 million naira. And later we got to find out from our able senator from Kano North, Kano State, who informed us uh, that their salary is actually 21.4 million naira. This is apart from the project uh, allowance or, or the, uh, the project, the money allocated for project in each constituency that these senators are in. <laughs> let's not even go to the to let's not even go to the f fact that these senators actually do not they do not do any project in their constituency some of them never even go back to their constituency until the expiration of their tenure in government <laughs> oh my lord at the end of the day when Tinobu finishes its tenure i know that efcc will be from one person to the other, from one person to the other, especially if it's an opposition party that wins in the next election. Hopefully, because I think that is high time. We are due for a change of government because this APC government, <laughs> my people, even go there. Apart from the fact that these people not only pay themselves salaries that they think that they are worth, <laughs> if it were to be for the general public, increase the 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 salaries of Nigerian labor labor congress. No, you would not want to do that because you feel that you are worth more than you know the rest of us. Let's not forget that they, at the end of their four-year tenure, they still collect severance package. That is, <laughs> we are. this is the end of your tenure. Take this one and go and rest. By the way, let me also draw attention to the fact that there's this ex-senator, a former senator known as Elisha Abo, said recently that during his regime, when he was a senator, they were being paid 14 million naira per month. And he said that till today he does not have his own house. He still lives in a Roman palace Sefcon, which belonged to his friend. He also said that, you know, the money that is spent as politicians when in office is a lot. <laughs> I laugh in Spanish. If you are able to collect 14 million naira as salary every month for four years and you are unable to build a house, it means that your village people, they were following you. <laughs> your village people were against your progress. That is just it. Because how can you come out and be saying that when you were collecting 14 million, you were unable, you are you were unable to build a house till today. Mind you, this is the same senator that fought a woman as at a sex toy shop. Probably he spent all his money on sex toys and you know, womanizing. And now you you are complaining that you were unable to build a house while collecting 14 million naira per month. Wow. Anyway, despite the uproar and the noise that a lot of Nigerians made when they heard that the government, federal government, was going to acquire a brand new private jet or private plane, of course, did not deter the federal government to proceed with their plan. Uh, our president, Tenobo, is now in France, with the new private jet, although the amount of the amount of money that they use in acquire, acquiring this private jet was not disclosed, we don't know how much was spent on it. But at least they have done it. They have done it, despite the fact that they have been shouting that they are going to reduce the cost of government governance. Anyway, we'll get to find out all of that. Before we go into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section as well. Our Senate Deputy President, 
principal offices got multi-billion Naira constituency projects in 2024 budget. Principal offices of Nigerian Senate have allocated billions of Naira in constituency projects to themselves in the 2024 budget, according to Newsroom Nigeria. The project, known as Zonal Intervention Project, ZIP, are intended for development initiatives across the 109 senatorial districts in the country. The report reveals that Senate President Gonzu Ababu, representing the Northwest Senatorial District of Akwaibom State, allocated 4.1 billion naira worth of projects to his constituency alone. These projects, along with others, are part of the ZIP project, which aims to bring federal projects to local communities through lawmakers' initiatives. Deputy Senate President Barao Jabril's Kano North Senatorial District also saw significant allocations along with other key Senate officers. Senate Leader Okoyemi Bamidili, Deputy Senate Leader Ayelola Ashiru, ex whip S. Chief Whip Ali Undume, Minority Leader Abu Moro, and Deputy Minority Leader Oyewumi Olaliri were among the top beneficiaries. However, the platform raised concerns about the transparency and clarity of the budget allocations. Many of the projects were found to have vague descriptions and locations, with some listed under suspicious sub -ads. The budget document did not indicate whether the lawmakers nominated these projects despite them being located in their respective constituencies. Barao Jibril, Kano North, News from Nigeria identified several projects worth billions of naira, whose specific locations are unclear. For instance, 250 million naira was allocated for the construction of rural roads in some selected communities in Kano State, the local government areas and specific communities where the project will be cited were not stated. Several others were not credited to any communities. The project and their cost are 190 million naira for human capital development and strategic empowerment with capital and motorcycles in Kano State. 250 million naira for provision of solar boro in various wards in Dala local government area, Kano State. 60 billion naira for construction of classrooms in Kadawa, Ugogo local government area, Kano State. 20 million naira for training and employment of youth and women and supply of sewing machines in Guazo, Cabo, local government area of Kano State. Mr. Jabril is from Kano State and the Deputy Senate President, Barao's Clare Project. The review shows that only one project was clearly located to, allocated to Mr. Jabril's Kano North. The project is 190 million naira for provision of empowerment items to farmers to boost dry season farming, traders and other artisans in Kano North Senatorial District. Bami Dele Okpayemi Ikiti Central, six projects worth 1.4 billion naira were allocated to the Ikiti Central Senatorial District, which Mr. Okpayemi represents. However, the only difference here is that the projects have locations, even though some are under irrelevant government agencies. Project listed for Mr. Okoyemi's constituency are 200 million naira for supply of education materials to students in selected schools in Ekiti Central Senatorial District, 
The project is listed on the Federal Cooperative College, Ibadan. 150 million for grants for unemployed youth and women in selected areas of Ikiti Central Senatorial District. 200 million for procurement of agrig imputes and employment of farmers in Ikiti Central Senatorial District. 232 million naira for provision of agric food farm imputes and employment for youths and women in Ikiti Central Senatorial District. 218 million for provision of agric and farm imputes for cooperatives in Irekwodo and Feludu and Nigeria Local Government of Ikiti Central Senatorial District. 250 million for provision of agric and farm imputes for cooperatives in Ado, Efon, and Ikiti West local government areas of Ikiti Central Senatorial District. 222 million for capacity building, training, and supply of sewing machines, block molding machines cassava grinding machines and pepper grinding machines for artisans in selected areas of Ikiti Central Senatorial District. Oye Lola Ashiru, Quara South, 11 projects worth 1.8 billion naira were located to Quara South Senatorial District, which Mr. Ashiru represents. Like Mr. Bamidili, some projects here are listed under irrelevant organizations for execution. They are 250 million for construction of community road in Ayaba area of Essa Ward in Kwara South, Kwara South Senatorial District. The project is listed under the main ministry. 250 million naira for construction and equipping of ICT centers in selected communities of Kwara South. Senatorial District. The project is listed under the National Productivity Center. 100 million for construction and rehabilitation of rural road and pavement in Popo Market of Aquara South Phase 2. The project is listed under the National Productivity Center. 100 million naira for renovation and equipping of SC Uludu Secondary School in the Rekpodun local government area of Kwara South. The project is listed under the National Productivity Center. 100 million naira for renovation of Oro Ago Omukpo Enrile Ilu Omo Aro Omo Aro and Ajashe Kingship's Palace in Kwara South. The project is listed under the National Productivity Center. 200 million naira for medical outreach for disabled and elderly people in selected areas of Kwara South Senatorial District. The project is listed under Aquatic Bow Resources Training Center, Tsunari Taraba State. 100 million naira for provision of medical supplies to primary health care and maternity centers in Kwara South Senatorial District. The project is listed under Aquatic Bow Resources Training Center, Sonari, Taraba State. 100 million naira for construction of motorized boreholes across communities in Isin local government area of Kwara South. Senatorial District. The project is listed under Niger RBDA. Ali Undume, Bono South. Three projects worth 722 million were located to the Bono South Senatorial District, which Mr. Undume represents. The controversial senator has lost his Senate whip position to Tahi Monguru. Bono North, after he fiercely criticized President Bola Tinubu's policies, the project his constituency benefited from are 500 million for construction of roads, drainages, and culverts, 
in Bono South Senatorial District. The project is listed under housing. 122 million for provision of tricycle pickup vans in Bono South Senatorial District, Bono State. The project is listed under the National Research Institute for Chemical Technology, Zarian. 100 million naira for provision of tricycle Kekenapeb in Bono South Senatorial District, Bono State. The project is listed under the National Research Institute for Chemical Technology. I can go on and on and on and on of millions of naira that have been collected by senators, you know, for projects in their constituency. It's all well and good if actually the senators are going to implement this project and not just squander the money and, you know, embezzle it and put it back in their own pockets. If actually they are going to implement it, it's fine. Like, it's for the benefit of the people. But thinking about it, they are not going to implement it. They are going to embezzle the money as usual because how many of all the senators have actually done something tangible for their community? If actually all of the monies that have been spent by Nigeria, you know, to give these senators money to do something in their com communities are actually being utilized, all of these little communities, they will be developed, they will be towns right now. But no, they don't do it. I don't even see the benefit of this zip that is being given to these senators. I think it should be scrapped because they have got their governors, their local government chairman, their councillors also in these communities are supposed to also uh, implement projects. So why give senators money to implement projects when you know that they are not going to even do it? Because the, the, the aim and objective of giving them this money has been, uh, as it's not even re no longer relevant. It's, uh, it, it's, not, it's, it's not even functioning. So why continue to dish out money? This is just wastage of resources. Just plain and simple broad daylight robbery let's just call it that you all let me know what you think in the comment section subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that i will see you all in my next video bye for now